Okay, we're going to find the absolute max and also the absolute min for this function on this interval. Here we go. Let's get the derivative first, f prime of x. The derivative of x is just 1. And then minus 2, and the derivative of inverse tangent is 1 over 1 plus x squared. And now let's get the common denominator, which is 1 plus x squared. And then let's do the same on the top as well. So we get 1 plus x squared on the bottom. And then for the top, here we have 1 plus x squared. And then the second part is 2 times 1, which is just a 2. That's pretty nice. In fact, we just have x squared minus 1 over 1 plus x squared. And then now we can set this to be 0. And then we just have to make the top to be 0. So x squared minus 1 is equal to 0. Add 1 on both sides. x squared is equal to 1. And now we will take the square root on both sides. Cancel, cancel. And usually, when we take the square root on both sides, we would need to put a plus or minus. However, take a look at the interval. We just care about the numbers from 0 to 4. So don't need to worry about the negative. Therefore, the only CN that we care is at x is equal to square root of 1, which is just a 1. All right? And then if you set the button to be 0, there's no real solutions. So you don't have to worry about that. 1 plus x squared equal to 0 um, has no real solutions. Yeah. So that's the only critical numbers that we need. Now we have f of 1. This right here is equal to 1 minus 2 times inverse tangent of 1. How do we compute inverse tangent of 1? We will have to ask ourselves, what's the first angle that will give us tangent being 1? And the answer is 45 degrees. But we are in calculus, we are all adults now, so we use radians, which is pi over 4. So here, this is 1 minus inverse tangent of 1 is pi over 4. But we have a 2 in front, so we have this. Reduce, we get 1 minus pi over 2. This is okay, you don't have to combine them, all right? Is this positive or negative? Negative. Pi is about 3.14 divided by 2 is 1.5-ish. But anyway, 1 minus that's, yeah, negative. Keep that in mind. All right, check the endpoint. F as 0, this is 0 minus 2 times inverse tangent of 0, and this is just going to be 0. 0 and this is 0. Lastly, f of 4, this is 4 minus 2 times inverse tangent of 4. And unfortunately, inverse tangent of 4, there's no nice angle, so that tangent of that angle will give us 4. So to compute this, you will just use a calculator for it. And I will tell you, this right here is approximately 1.35-ish. 1.348, but I can round up. Because this right here, we know, as we discussed the earlier, is negative. And I'll tell you, it's approximately negative 0 0.57. So this is, in fact, the smallest. And this right here will be the biggest. So here we go absolute max we have f of 4 and I'm just going to write down the exact answer which is just this and that will be 4 minus 2 times inverse tangent of 4 and then we have the absolute min and I'm just going to write it down like that f of 1 and that's 1 minus pi over 2. And this right here, we'll do it. All right? For more examples on this kind of questions, go ahead and check out my playlist.